Many homeowners, real estate investors, contacting us to work on a project that involved a second story. They are surprised when we're trying to scale down the scope of work, avoiding a second story and go with a first floor addition extension in the front or in the back. They are very surprised because at the end of the day, the bigger the scope of work, the more profit we make. But I must be as loyal as possible to my clients even if i'm putting myself in a risk that we're not going to get the job because at the end of the day resale value is extremely important and cost of construction it's extremely important for our clients whenever a client have a front or a backyard big enough to build, I always recommend them to keep the first floor, to keep an extension on a ground level, unless there is a total renovation that they're planning to do anyways on the first floor. The reason is very simple. When you're building a second floor, you're demolishing many parts of the first floor. You need to create an access to a staircase, which means you need to break a lot of walls in the first floor. If the floors that they have right now on the first floor are limited, you cannot find them anymore. You need to do new floors in the entire first floor. We need to break the stucco to put shear walls, break the foundation, create bigger footings, demo the entire roof. So as you can see, to build a second floor gonna cost way more money than to build the same size on the front or on the back on a ground. So whenever a client asks me if he should go with a second floor, I always tell them it's an option as long that you're planning to do a complete renovation on the first floor as well. Because there's no way that a client can build a second floor without touching the first floor at the same time. Whenever you're building an addition on the first floor, it's always gonna cost way cheaper since you don't need to do any modification for the structure you don't need to demo the roof. You don't need to remove walls in the interior. You don't need to touch kitchen or bathrooms. So I always recommend for clients, real estate investors, to keep it simple and to add more square footage on the ground as long that they have enough size of a lot. That's it.